So our first exercise for today is to have two or four yoga blocks. If you're feeling adventurous, you can have six yoga blocks and if they're available to you. If you don't have any yoga blocks at all, it's totally fine. You just need something that you have a pair of that are the same height. The higher these things are, the harder you will be working. So grab whatever it is that you need and we will get started. So again, this is a harder variation that you can do is to sit up against a wall or have your back up against the back of your couch. Just anything that will keep your back straight while you're doing this exercise. Um, just for the sake of me demonstrating it really well today, I'm not going to have anything against my back. So what we're going to be doing, not using your hands on the ground to stabilize yourself, keeping them in front of you. We're going to be keeping your legs straight, toe pointed. We're going to lift the leg over your barrier and bring it back. Same thing on the opposite side. Trying really hard not to lean back as much as possible. And then both legs together at the same time, keeping them nice and straight. Yeah. So we're going to do 10 of the separates and out, and then we're going to have a little break and we're going to do 10 of the in and out in a row. So let's get ready, sitting up nice and tall, keeping those legs straight, keeping your toes pointed, and we go, lift, together, lift, together, both out, both in, that's one, good. Switch directions that you started in. So if you start on your left, start on your right. For the next one. That's two. And back to the left. Keep those legs nice and straight, no bending your knees. Three. Bringing them out, bringing them in. Minimal movement through the back, just lifting up through the quads. Four. Halfway there. Might be starting to feel the burn around about now. Keep with it. Six. If you decided to start sitting straight against the wall and you need a break from that, rather than stop altogether, bring yourself away from your wall. Seven. Always have somewhere that you can drop to so that you don't have to stop altogether. Eight, two more. Nine, last one in this set. Almost there, guys. And big lift. Bring it back. Ten, very good. Shake them off. Get them out if you need to. Now, if you're feeling a little bit fatigued, you can get rid of one set of blocks if you have more available to you. If you started on a really high setting, you can flip it down to a medium setting. Or if you started with two, you can flip one up to a high setting. All right, so this is just 10 continuous in and out. Again, trying not to lean back as much as you can. And let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, four, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one. And 10. Very good. Well done, guys. Give them a shake. For our next exercise, we'll be needing a chair. So depending on how hard you want to work, again, depends on how high your chair is that you pick. So if you have a dining room table with high back setting, that can help you to work really hard. Or if you just have a standard chair like the one that I have here, we can start off quite easily like that. So first thing we're going to do is rainbow our inside leg to the chair over the seat and then bring it back again. We'll then be taking our foot up onto the seat, turning your knee towards the ceiling 
and we're going to be lifting the leg up, resting it down on the chair in between. We will then flip the chair around, putting it on the back of the chair and doing the same thing but with your foot, with your knee facing forwards this time. So let's begin with just the rainbow first. Again, keeping both legs straight, finding your balance, so keeping your tummy nice and tight. And let's go. Lift, touch the heel, and bring it back. That's one. You might need to play with your distance so you don't kick the back of your chair as well. Two. Three, keep your toe pointed. Four, five. Helps if you just pick a spot in the room and focus on it, something that's not, not moving. Six, whoop, <laughs> seven. Eight, if you need to have your arms out here, feel free. <laughs> Nine, one more to go. I always mess up the last one. Ten, very good, shake it out guys. All right, this time, checking your foot up on the seat of the chair, turning your knee towards the ceiling, nice pointed toe. We're gonna lift that foot up as high as it goes, bringing it down to a rest position on the heel in between. And let's go, 10. One, two, try not to lean away from the leg as much as you can. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. We're now going to the back of the chair. This time your foot will be sideways. So your knee is going to be, oh, let me get that away. So your knee is going to be facing towards the front here. So we're using a bit more of the outside glute area to squeeze and lift. 10 of the same. And let's go. One, may only be very small movement. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good, guys. Shake them off. We'll do the whole sequence again on the opposite side. So, quite often the second side is the worst side because both your supporting leg and the leg you were just using are fatigued. So what I like to do is do my good leg on the second side because that's twice as hard. So whatever your flexible leg is, do that one as the one that's doing all the actions on your second set, yeah? All right, because it's hard. All right, here we go. And rainbows to begin with. Tracing forwards, going over the chair, heels together, keep the knees straight, kiss them and turn them out. One. Two, I do have better balance on this side though. Three, just as I said that. <laughs> Four. Go at your own pace. If I'm going too fast for you, no stress, slow it down. Five. Probably won't be going to go too much faster than just throwing your leg. Six. Seven, almost there. Eight. Nine, one more to go. And ten. Oh, I got my heel on that last one. <laughs> Give him a shake. And heel up onto the seat. Again, knee facing towards the ceiling. And let's go, lift as high as you can. One, two, 
three, four, try not to lean into it, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Very good, guys. And then, final one, up on the top of the chair, play with your position, turning that knee forward, flat of your foot facing the front, and ten lifts. One, two, three, four, ooh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Bring it on down. Shake it on. So for our last strengthening exercise for today, guys, we will be needing two yoga blocks if you have them available. If you don't have them available, then you can just use anything, again, that is two of the same height. Just something that you can't break. Um, so you could use cushions if you were a beginner. Um, if you have two yoga mats at home, you can roll up your yoga mats very tight and put them underneath your knees. Um, but yoga blocks are the most ideal things to use. Um, again, beginner setting would have them flat, intermediate up on the sides, and advanced up here nice and high. So we're going to be taking them in behind your knees, and we're going to be sitting in a straddle. So we're not sitting in a middle split, we're sitting in an actual straddle position. So you kind of look a little bit like a spider here, tucking those yoga blocks in underneath your knees, making sure that they are not going to fall over on you. And what we're going to be doing is lifting up one leg at a time off of the yoga block and taking them out straight, and then both legs up together. So we'll be doing 10 to begin with. So we go, stretch it out, one. Touch the floor, stretch the other one out. And then take both up together. Good. And then the other way to begin with. Try and sit up nice and tall. Excellent. Both together. Two. Very good. Really try to push your toes up towards the ceiling. Push down on the yoga block when you get to the top. Three. Excellent, guys. Make it nice and slow, so you want to be slow on the return of your heel to the floor as well. Yeah? Controlling the muscle, not letting it flop. Four. Back up. Five. Should be getting a little bit easier as you go along, not necessarily harder. Six, seven, might be starting to feel a bit of squeeze in the hip flexors, that's normal. Eight, two more. Reach up nice and high, nine. And on this 10th one, we're going to squeeze the legs and hold while they're both up. And go, hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good. Bringing them in. And side to side. Excellent, guys. That's a nice little one to finish off with because it's not quite as taxing as the two that we did in the beginning, but it also helps you to stretch as well as strengthen at the same time. If you didn't feel like you got a hell of a lot out of that last one, then feel free to repeat it two to three more times before you finish up your practice today.